Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to check out the system tools or the system applications of Debian Edu 12 full Linux. So we have completed right from accessories up to the office. So all these sections have been covered. Only the system section is there. So system section, go size there, we have checked it out. So go, go size nothing but a system uh, tool. I will just show you. Let it open. Then htop is there. Let us see the htop. What you have got in htop. So the memory usage by the school Linux is around 1.3 to 1.5 GB in this uh, Kosa application and the uh, Mozilla Firefox running in the foreground. So you can see it is quite stable. Not much memory usage is there, and it is as good as any other Gnome desktop. So Gnome desktops normally consume memory in this range. So though being an XFC desktop, it is consuming the memory like a Gnome desktop because, uh, because of the lot of applications that are installed and lot of background applications which are running. You can see here, almost 140 tasks are running, 456 threads are there. So lot of applications are running. That's why, and this, uh, Virtual machine is also a server. So server a workstation both are installed on this uh, virtual machine. That's why the memory usage is almost double. Now let us open the Gosa. It's opening up. So we can go ahead and check out other applications. So print settings are there. You can see it here. Print settings are there. So you can use uh, the print setting uh, so it will start the cups print printer service and then you can connect detect the different uh, printers and then you can uh, use the printer drivers to configure the printer and then you can use the printer so anything this is uh, admin tool so you have to log in with the admin tool so i think uh, got the root uh, user is there separate root user is there let us see so right now it won't work because we are not configured it. It this server requires a lot of configuration. So I just wanted to show you the different uh, applications that are available. Now sensor view is there, so it will show all the sensors, and the sensor type is SCPI. So temperature scale is Celsius. You can set it to Fahrenheit. Update intervals are there tachometers of the speedometers so that will show us the uh, frequency of the different cpu cores so right now it is not populated i think it will require some configuration then you have got the sl backup php so this is a backup uh, application so you can take the backup of nodes on the main server that is this virtual machine because this virtual machine contains the server as well as one user node Synaptic package manager you are known, the task manager you are known. So let us check out the task manager. Uh, memory usage is around 1.6 GB. So the memory usage is shown equally uh, same by the task manager, Gnome task manager as well as the edge stop. You can see here the processes, 325 processes are there. CPU is around 1 to 4% of CPU usage, zero swap usage. Then the Thunar file manager is there, UX term is there, XFC terminal is there, XTERM is there, and Zuti is there. What is Zuti? Let us see what is Zuti. So it is it is also some kind of terminal. Now what we will do is let us go to the where is the settings system settings we should go. Anywhere the, uh, yes, Midnight Commander is pending. So Midnight Commander is a TUI, that is the Terminal User Interface Based File Manager. You can see all the system folders, the system paths are being shown here right now. So you can use uh, TUI based uh, graphical user interface to navigate through the different system folders and the user folders. Yes, now we will go to the settings. So here in the settings, you can see here all the traditional XFC settings are there. I am not going in much detail. You can see here workspaces, text docs, synaptic package manager, session and startup, everything all is the traditional 
except C desktop is there. In appearance section, let us see what they have got. So just Advaita, Ginong, high contrast and the tango icon thing is there. In styles only the Advaita, uh, Advaita and the high contrast style is there. Nothing is there, but you can also uh, spice up. You can add more styles and icons and make it more interesting. And if you go to the settings manager at the bottom, let us see what is there. Anything else is there that we can see. Position and startup. Manager clipboard. Nothing. nothing uh, other than the routine applications are there. Nothing extra is there. So I will, I think, close it. So this is the latest XFC desktop, the latest one that is available. So now Debian has most of the desktop which are latest and Gnome is just one version back from the Arch and now Arch uh, will have soon the Gnome 45. I think it will land, land up in this month itself and uh, the users who are using Arch will get the latest Gnome 45 by the month end. So with this, I will stop the video here. In the next video, where we will try out some new Linux distribution. Bye bye.